what's up everybody this is fred Richani of tsc news the golden state warriors come back after being down three games to one to win the western conference finals game seven 96 88 i mean man oh man just the warriors were killing it behind the three-point line and the thunder just could not come through down the stretch it's quite unfortunate because the thunder played great they played great for a lot of the series but they just couldn't finish the hero ball the bad fourth quarters some of the errant passes the carelessness yeah man it just on one hand they're the champs the golden state warriors are the champs i mean it's no surprise that if a team is going to be down 3-1 and come back it's going to be the golden state warriors at the same time you got not one but two mvp candidates on your freaking team. And you could not finish the Golden State Warriors in three games. That sucks. That really sucks. Now look. They got to the Western Conference Finals. Better season than last season. Billy Donovan in his first year made some adjustments. Was freaking awesome. Although I got to say if Scott Brooks had a healthy Kevin Durant. And had a healthy OKC team. And he was still at the helm. I think they would have had similar success. But whatever. It's, it's beating a dead horse. He's moved on he's doing his thing they've moved on they're doing their thing but has Kevin Durant decided to move on has Kevin Durant decided to enter free agency and and really enter it as an actually seriously consider leaving OKC I'd find it preposterous if he left I mean he's playing with Russell Westbrook even with Russell Westbrook's flaws I mean come on you're really gonna leave Westbrook you're really gonna leave Westbrook who's a great teammate come on man I don't know. And and at the end of the day, guess what? Those bad fourth quarters weren't just on Westbrook and the rest of the Thunder. They were on KD. So something for him to think about. I'm sure we'll be hearing about this a lot all over ESPN and SportsCenter and everything else the next few months. But the Golden State Warriors, winners of 73 regular season games, are going back to the NBA Finals. Congrats to them. I mean, just some numbers here that were just out of this freaking world. Steph Curry, Chef Curry, 36 points, 7 from 12 from three-point land. My God, they got, they're just like one of those fighters that just has that, that knockout punch. And even if they're down, they hit you with that one punch, it's, it's, it's over. It's over. That, that's the Warriors. You could knock them down. They could be down 3-1. They could be down late in the game. But at the end of the day, they have that dagger. I don't care if sometimes they don't attack the paint. I don't care if some people don't like jump shooting teams. They are cold-blooded when the lights are on bright. So who wins? Who wins the championship? Cavs or Warriors? Cavs are at full strength, as LeBron said. He's got K-Love. He's got Kyrie. He's got a damn good team around him. And oh yeah, he's arguably the best player in the game. So what next? I think we're going to have some fireworks, and I think we're going to have an awesome six, maybe seven game series, but I want to hear from you. Who you got? Warriors? Cavs? Let me know. Leave a comment below. Tweet us. Facebook us. Do what you got to do. If you enjoyed this update, please like, share, take care, and until next time, everybody, as always, enjoy the games. And speaking of games, I'm so hyped up right now, I'm going to go play some NBA 2K16.